Hello Aquarius and welcome to your general reading. If you want to book a personal reading, please follow the description box below and we'll get you appointed as soon as we can. Thanks so much for all the likes, comments, and subscribes everyone. The cards are, excuse me, the cards are pre-shuffled. All right, but I do a little bit for you online on the, oh Lord. Okay, let's see what's going on with Aquarius. Oh, God, like, literally look at my thumb. Like, I don't know if you can, this is, yeah, so red. These cards are so hard compared to the uh, Rider weight. Like, when I hold these, it's like I'm holding, like, Play-Doh. When I hold these, it's like I'm, I don't even know, blades. So let's see what we got here. <laughs> oh, my God. All right. Let's get into to the zone. All right, let's see what we got for Aquarius. What spirit wants us to know. All right, Aquarius, let's go ahead and get into it, okay? We got the Page of Pentacles, the Hierophant, Hierophant the Eight of Cups, and the Five, excuse me, the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, all right? Let's see what Aquarius is. <laughs> there's a sense of new direction um, and overwhelming anxiety you know it's almost like you're leaving the bird's nest okay so whatever that means for you maybe you've been in, in um, you're an, you're a fixed sign like I am so maybe you're finally moving forward taking on a new venture a new journey new relationships new job new location okay and there's a sense of anxiety that you feel but you also feel like okay i'm ready to change i'm ready to do something new you know like at least one aspect of your life some of you are looking at the most important aspects of your life learning blocks principles of that you're willing to change you're also willing to um showcase your talents when you're done you know so that if if you did a good job you know you're willing to have people kind of criticize you on it or just judge you on it okay um there's a great inner knowing here i feel like i'm speaking to a man but i could be also speaking to a woman i could be speaking to um a married couple um you know you aquarius could be looking at moving forward um uh in your life i feel like some of you are a little older okay or you're just more mature for your age okay either of the two take it how it applies and um you're ready to kind of do things on your own it seems like at wherever you are right now whether you're really young older middle aged that you finally you found a purpose you don't know if it's your life given purpose but it's a purpose that's got you um willing to move and willing to get up it's like we always kind of always want you know a new idea or you know something new in life we all like new things even when we're fixed signs and so we just have to be ready for that when when it's time and then we can move okay so with the page of pentacles you could be dealing with an earth sign so that's taurus virgo capricorn all right if you're looking at um business partners if you're looking at business um being business savvy you could have an earth sign in your uh in your in your mists or you could be an earth sign but you and this person i think this person may be a little bit more wise than you or may have uh, certain things that you may not have right now but um, you two are going to be on the same page as far as starting something new so it's perfect it's like a yin and yang kind of situation you know um, the start of something new the start of something new anyway but you know so I just feel like um, You two are on the same page with one another. I feel like this earth sign, it could be you, but this earth sign energy is someone who's who knows a lot, who's seen a lot, okay, as far as material things and knows kind of, you know, the ins and outs, maybe has never put their mind to it, maybe has never done it, okay, that could be you. Or you could be meeting with somebody who's um, been there, done that, but they're willing to start new with you. You two are on the same page, okay, as far as your physical assets and success and how you're going to go get more money together. So it looks like it doesn't matter where you and this person come from, you're both going to be like... uh starting on the same page as far as money and success and building security okay they're going to nurture you you're going to nurture them 
Okay, like that little bunny rabbit right there. He's he's a very he's a gentleman. You're you know you're a lady, and you guys are just gonna go about it together on the same page. There's nothing better than being on the same page as far as the money. Okay, if one person makes more money than the other, no big deal. We're gonna learn how to compromise and come down to the same level. Nobody's gonna step below. It seems that you two, wherever you are, again come in on the same page and aspect. Okay, I love it. You guys treat each other with respect, and um, material things are very important to the both of you in the same level and degree okay we got the hierophant okay so taurus so it could be a taurus you're dealing with more more earth energy so he's a very he's a gentleman okay he's he's someone who takes you into consideration um he's very loving open-minded but at the same time very fixed so you're a fixed energy and you're dealing with a fixed energy so it's safe to say that again wherever you know your cultures um, how old you are, all of that will never be the matter with you in this this man or this woman. You just, you both have a knowing and your souls are um, intertwined. It's just wherever you are, you just kind of pick up right where you left off. All right, the Hierophant with the, the number five is something that I'm drawn to. So you guys, you guys could have a big family, you could be joining families. This talks about anxiety. It talks about anxiety leaving one's nest, Okay. The Queen of Cups, anxiety about settling down, anxiety about loving, feeling like, okay, like, okay, we, we seem to always be able to pick up where we left off. There's a sense of being comfortable with one another, and I feel like that's what gives you or them or both of you anxiety, okay? Aquarius, you have, a, you have this anxiety because you have a knowing. I think this Hierophant here is you. So whether you're male or female, this could be like a twin flame kind of situation, um, you're very much in your masculine energy, whereas like you you want to be the one who dictates everything, okay? Before you um make a decision, so that's that masculine energy. If you're a female, you you want to be able to lay your cards out of the table and say, okay, this is this 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 and that. All right, there's an anxiety because there's something you know. All right, um, there's a secret here for sure that you keep within yourself. This eight of cups, all right, this is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, and love. So this is you and, and, and your track record with love and relationships, friendships. Maybe there's a secret here of how you treat people. Um, you feel like you and this person meet up at the same time, any time in life, you know, on the same page because they know everything, excuse me, about you. But you feel like you're guilty or you have anxiety because you don't feel like you do tell them all the truth. You feel like there's something about you that they need to know. Like they maybe need to know about your track record before you guys kind of commit into anything together. The Eight of Cups talks about abandoning people, um, walking away and never coming back, loving someone deep and then just never coming back, just walking away. Okay, um, perhaps out of fear. And then we have the three of pentacles, more Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So it seems that you're stable, um, Aquarius, when it comes to your finances and your material things. Um, perhaps with family as well, you take you get you take your pride in loving your family and listening to your family, etc. But there may have been some childhood trauma. There may have been some reason as to why you're not really good with working with people or working around people. Maybe you're kind of like a solo agent. You're solo jet. You know that's just how you prefer to be. Okay, but you're very creative and you're artsy. You're someone who likes to. Um, showcase your talents in any many ways you're you're you are all these people in this photo you're the person checking out their their lipstick in the mirror just taking a break you're this person who's conflicted then you're confused you're learning you're these people in the back who are working busting their ass you know, you're this person over here who's elderly and he's just making sure everyone's doing good. Then you're these people back here criticizing, judging, making sure everyone's doing good. You're that person over there dressed up, looking great and fantastic. I don't know what they may be doing, but, you know, so that that tells a lot about you on your own. But you're willing. It looks like before I say that you're willing to show someone because right now you're kind of like, thinking you're up in your head really about well you're up in your feelings you're not in your head you're more so in your feelings about okay this is who I am this is what I've done this is you're looking at your portfolio your track record and you're like okay where do I go from here okay you're stuck emotionally with a cancer Pisces Scorpio and love and emotion okay you you've never really had to to um what do I want to say you never really had to almost study your emotions this long or like uh, 
go through with your emotions. There's something I'm looking for. Okay, let's clarify this page of pentacles for Aquarius. But you're like almost forced to kind of understand why you love the way you love and why you only like master certain qualities and traits. But I think you're going to be willing to show this person the ins and outs of how you work. Okay, this is a sense of vulnerability because you're vulnerable anyway, right? Let's clarify this page of pentacles is what you're saying. Clarify the page of pentacles for Aquarius. Why is the page of pentacles here? Why is the page of pentacles here for Aquarius? Why is the page of pentacles here for Aquarius? I do. We got two cards and I'm going to take them. We got the three of cups and the king of swords. And then the ace of swords. Okay, interesting. <laughs> so this masculine energy of yours where you revert to when you're um, feeling vulnerable, probably due to the fact that um, maybe you didn't have uh, men in your life. Okay, maybe your brother was someone who... Um, was for an example incarcerated right for quite some time in and out of your life your brother was your younger brother or something like that your dad was in and out of your life maybe your dad passed my condolences okay so you feel like you're you know in a sense in a logical sense why we don't have any swords here like a widow or something some of you feel like you're just like lacking lacking um a male's presence is what i want to say okay some of you then others of you, if it's not like a daddy issue, quote unquote, I would say, I think a lot of you Aquarius just take pride in your beauty, take pride in your knowing, you take a lot of pride in your outer appearance, you take, you take a lot, you're very, um, some of you majestic, I don't know why I want to say that word, but you just, you take a lot of pride in your, in your, in your physical appearance, what you know, and what you think like, what you look like, okay, so the material there and everything like that, so the vulnerability here taps into a, you know, like a childhood trauma, maybe something like that, we'll leave it there, okay, and so you don't like to tap into that childhood trauma at the bottom, we have the page of wands, so there's definitely like, You, you sense danger real quickly, okay? You had you had to grow up real fast is what I sense for, um, is what I sense for Aquarius. You had to grow up really fast, okay? You were, and I, I'm talking to some girls right here now too. It's like maybe you had to, it's odd, but you know, maybe you had to be, um, maybe you had to be um, the man of the house in a way, even though you were a woman, ace of cups. Um, okay, let's just keep moving. But you've always been eye candy. I think you've always felt like you've been eye candy towards towards men, but you may have not been a first choice towards men. Or maybe you are always like a first choice towards men. You dress really colorful and flamboyant. Or flamboyant is a word, depending. Um, I... You dress very colorful, and I get that men and boys of all ages just kind of just kind of fall for you, okay? Let's clarify the Hierophant. <laughs> but you, I feel like you're very girly when it comes to the men, but really when the men are not looking, you're very, you're something else. Let's clarify the Hierophant. This is a, this is a woman who may feel like they're trapped. The Ten of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Trap, but I feel like some of the Aquarius, that, honestly, I know it's going to sound weird, but some of the Aquarius that I'm talking to,